hello everyone welcome back to crafting with Bui designs silhouette studio edition in this video i'm going to show you how to use monograms from the monogramos font to make cute designs especially for um babies and um and however you want to use it okay i'm going to show you how to do it in silhouette studio with a monogramos font so check it out first i go here to my text editor for instance i want to do some initials of um of a name let's say the name is um sarah um mary let's say johnson johnson okay say johnson johnson okay so like this name i want the initials for this name smj it will be so i'm going to do like a monogram of uh, a monogram of uh, thing of it let me show you what i what i mean i'll go to here back to my text i'll write down s capital letter s m j okay smj i have this right here okay let me fill it into i'll put it with red okay now i'll go over to my text um area and i look for monogrammas monogrammas and i hit enter when i hit enter you see see this this font i have downloaded from thefont.com and i'm using it just for educational purposes okay if you need the font you're gonna sell with it please go and purchase the license okay um so i have these three right here you see them you see the s the m and the j they are all separate like sss mmm jjj okay but uh in here we are going to release the 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 letters okay so that they can be separate so that we can form one round um one wrong design of the two letters so we need this s and we need this m and we need this j okay so this is a text font like i told you i'm going to right click and i'm going to release compound okay when i release compound you see it like this but when you drag it out let me see what if i done Okay, not release compound at all. Right click and ungroup it. Okay. And after I ungroup it, I will right click again, keep them selected. Okay. And then release compound. Okay, now we have what we want. And now you can go and, and tip, you hold the circle and a tip there and remove it. And then you can delete this. And the tip and remove it. And then you see the, the letters are coming out. Okay okay like we said we are going to um, make a collection like with the first the second and the third so it will come out like this let's make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to align them okay let me drag it a little bit like this okay we're going to align them now to see the alignment to go here and then we're going to align them uh, on side by side like to be on the same height. Let me see that. Um, I don't see what I want. I think. Mm -hmm. Let me do it again. Actually, this one should be here. Okay, because it needs to uh, um, form the circle. And then I'm going to select it again. <clears throat> I'll go back here. And then. The spaces between them, you see these spaces, I'm going to look for that. Look, spacing between horizontally. When I select this, the spaces between them will be the same. And then you can group it. You see, and now I have the, oh, come on, I don't group it. And now I have the SMG, okay? Sarah Mary Johnson. So you can do for all the letters you want. And in this case, it will only come in three um, letters, like for three initials, because one piece holds only three letters. 
So uh, when you take the parts, it will only form for three letters. So if your name is longer, the name is longer, you need to take some names out. Okay, and um, I'm gonna show you another way how to um, how to use this. Okay, um, for instance, let me download, let me open it really quick. For instance, I have this wreath, like Christmas wreath, and I have it like this. And I want to make a cute um, ornament, okay, with this inside. Let me make it smaller. You can put it inside right here. And if you want to change the color to this one, um, you can go here, open here, and choose the drop. The dropper and then you can go here and choose one of those colors that you see and you see the the red the smj inside will uh, copy the color too okay so you can add this to a, a, a cute um how do you call it you can add it to a cute um ornament and i'll show you one one more way let me copy this again This is one of the ways. Okay, uh, let me go here. Mm -mm. And I'll take a perfect circle right here. We're not going to do complicated. I'm going to convert it to pad so that I can use it. And then I'm going to make a, one more. Comp a smaller one like so. I'm also going to convert it to pet and I'm going to fill it with, let's say, green. Okay, green. And I'll take this line out. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go here to the replicate tool and I'll go to um, pen. <laughs> this one. Click on it. Click on this one. The grab handle. And I'll keep this selected, okay? And then I'll select the grab handle and the grab handle will come in it. And then I'll drag it to the line. When it touches the line, you see it will have all this. And when it have all this, the repetition, I don't know, is here. Number of repeats is 22. I'm going to, oh yeah, I'll keep it here on 23. And then I'll release the copies, okay? And after I release the copies, I'm going to zoom in. Yeah. And this one here, this circle, this here. I'm gonna send it to the back. And when I send it to the back, the line will be visible. And then I will fill the line with okay, any color. And I'll zoom out again, and then I'll remove it without a headache. And then I will select all here, and then I will um, make it compound or, or group it or whatever you wanna do. And then, we can add this inside okay and make it a little bit smaller okay and then we have this and this is also a cute design for um, um, um. if you want to do it like this okay and also let's see i'm going to ungroup it again and then i'm going here and i'm going to release this Mm -mm -mm. let me go with this okay and i will go i'm going to release compound on them so that i can remove like a few of these i'm not going to remove it yet but i have it here okay let's go in here really quick and i'll choose the heart the heart is here i'll make Convert it to pad and I'll make it red. Okay. And then I'll rotate it. I'll rotate it right here. Right click, duplicate. And then I will um, flip it horizontally. I'll drag it like so. Let me let it um, align it. Line it really well. Scoot it more here. Line it really well. And then I will right click again and weld it. Okay. I 
not welded. I think I'm good. I think I am good. Okay. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit big. Oh no. Not like that. Like here. Yeah. Make it a little bit bigger. And now I'll bring it over here. Let's see how big I can make it. Make it a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. And I'll send it to the back. And then I will remove this right here. Okay, and then you have another cute um you have another cute uh design here to use with the to use with the um monogram. You see that? There are different kinds of monograms, but this is the one that I love, and this is the one that I I love to use when I make things for myself with it. Like I said, if you want to use it for uh, commercial purposes, you need to get the license. And you can get this um, from thefont.com. And you click on there, and then they will show you uh, who made it and how to get the license. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. And um, like and subscribe. And let me know if you're going to try it. Okay? Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.